Designed from the ground up, the D'Addario Backline Gear Transport Pack is the ultimate solution for players on the move. With more than eight specialized storage and transport compartments built right in, it makes getting everything to the gig painless and intuitive. I've kind of known you guys as, you know, it's, it's not com I, I, maybe not as common for post-hardcore bands to um, play the gear that you guys do. You know, a lot of, a lot of people wouldn't expect you know, Fender amps and single coil guitars and strats and stuff. Right. And I think I've seen you with a lot of strats and tellies and a lot of Fender style guitars and amps um, in the in the past when I've seen you guys. Is that how you r record as well? Are you taking your own gear into the studio or are you guys just kind of stacking whatever sounds great? Yeah, I mean, in terms of the guitars, definitely like the single coil kind of plays a big element for us. Um, it's sort of the sound that, I don't know, we just developed and it's, become a part of our identity um and so even you know it's like we're open we always go in like oh maybe we'll try this and plug in a les paul it's like eh, it just doesn't sound right it's just not who we are um you know originally i think i kind of did it because um i was going after more of like what like mono and like godspeed you black emperor and that type of stuff was i, I liked the sounds that they were getting and so that was more what i was interested and even if we're going for more of like the traditional like screamo sound and stuff, like portraits of past. Right, right. They had this like jangly, just like in your face single coil fender sound. And so that's that's more what I was going after. And it was, you know, it's like all the bands we're playing with or our friends at the time in hardcore bands are playing fifty one fifties, which are cool in their own right, but it was like it's another way to stand out and do something different and uh so I think it developed out of all of that stuff. And so, yeah, we do go into the, the studio with that stuff. Um, I used a uh, one of the reissue 68 Deluxe Reverbs for pretty much the um, bulk of my guitar tracks. Uh, the bulk of Nick's guitar tracks were done on a uh, mid-60s uh, AC30, oh, um, cool. which was a little different from... Usually we're using American-style stuff, at least, like 6L6 amps or 6550s. Um, but that one just had a really special awesome thing it's it was one of uh, ross robinson's oh <laughs> um, and so uh yeah he he was like let's try this out and we all kind of like whoa that thing is gnarly <laughs> yeah uh so we used that for a lot of it and then um sort of the extra guitar tracks would be like uh the amp that i'm using today which is a uh 90s 65 reissue twin reverb and then a uh mesa lone star which is nick's which again, kind of a American style amp. Totally great sounding amps for sure. Well, um, before we get on to amps, let's let's talk guitars. Is this your number yeah. one that you have on? Yeah, this is this is my number one right here. This is a uh, Nash S sixty three model. Love Nash, man. They they do some, such cool stuff. Oh, it's incredible. Um, I was turned on to these by um, Zach from Rise Against. Actually, he turned me on to. Nash and uh, Britton, who works there, and uh, and so yeah, I, I've owned a couple. I've had a Telecaster of theirs as well, and then I got this in I think 2014, um, and it's kind of gone in and out. And then in the last couple of years, I've just totally refallen in love with the Strat. So this has become my number one, um, and on the record, this was for sure my number one. Uh, this this got used all over the place. Man, I love the finish that. The, um, the spray over is just so cool looking. Yeah, so yeah, it's a uh, sunburst underneath and then it's a sonic blue on top. <laughs> That's funny that you mentioned Zach because that dude has actually gotten me into a ton of gear. <laughs> and, oh, yeah. I mean, and yeah. a bunch of mods that I wasn't aware of beforehand, you know, like... If yeah. I, he has this um, JCM 800 with a presence mod. I don't know if you've ever seen that thing, but man, if I had known about that when I was younger, I probably would have <laughs> right. spent a lot, yeah, time, yeah. a lot less time searching for stuff. Yeah, but. He's, he, he, he's a total, you know, gear nerd, and he, uh, he gets the sound that we go for, and, uh, you know, just talking about guitars and stuff and turned me on to it, and I'm very thankful. And then my other kind of number one is this guy, which is a Telecaster of some kind. It's American. It's super heavy. <laughs> and uh, I don't know what model it is. I've asked some people at Fender, and there's some things about it that are kind of strange. So I, I kind of think it was a American neck put on an American body, but that don't match. Weird. Uh, 
Um, it's, it's a super heavy one. So this one, this one I've seen the most time on the road by far. Um, this is kind of the old reliable. I, this one has no, it's never had a problem. I beat the crap out of it. 